Ratchet and Clank, a Pixar movie come to life. Ratchet and Clank is a video game based off a of movie based off of a video game. A relaunch of this series and a reimagining of the original game from 2002. And honestly, this 3D platformer slash third person shooter is near perfect. Ratchet and Clank will take you to 11 different planets, constantly changing the environment to stop the game from being stale. Every planet is just the right amount of open and just the right amount of linear. Some just straight up platforming while others will have you diving, grinding rails, flying with a jetpack, collecting brains from giant squid aliens, or completing races for a new gadget. Each location also has a fair amount of variety in its enemies. And surprisingly, enemies are addictive to kill thanks to the added RPG elements. As you progress through the game, you'll be able to buy new guns from the bolts that enemies drop. And to level these guns up, you have to actually use them, making each gun its own character, giving you incentive to try weapons out. This is by far the best way to level up weapons I've ever seen in a game period. As you level them up, you'll also unlock slots to spend rare titanium on to boost that weapon's ammo capacity, damage range, collectible drop rates, among many other things. No two weapons have identical perks, and in 3D platforming fashion there are collectibles in this game. But these collectibles aren't filler bullcrap that many open world games like to throw in for padding. These collectibles like the golden bolts can unlock appearance changes and cheats that don't affect trophies. And holo cards that if you collect all in a set will provide a boost in bolts, cards, or rare titanium drops. This leads to enemy encounters never feeling like a grind. This leveling up in item drops leaves you wanting more encounters with even more enemies. And after you complete the story you can play again in challenge mode, which is essentially a new game plus. The only downside to this game is really the story. The game is hilarious in moments, but for the most part the story of unsuspected heroes trying to save all the planets from being destroyed never kept my attention. It felt like background noise of the awesomely addictive gameplay. While the story won't keep you glued to the chair, the addictive gameplay and leveling up systems will. I give Ratchet and Clank a 9 out of 10. If you played Ratchet and Clank, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Tune in Monday for first impressions where we find out what game we're playing next. Thanks for watching. That was awesome. Want to do it again? Okay, let's see what we got here. And so, Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first... They'd have to tackle a brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Okay, fine. Killjoy. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you in the next reboot.